Hello everybody and welcome to Kind of Crafty Kenzie. I am Kenzie of course and today is my final Valentine's Day DIY video that I am bringing to you guys. So I decided to make it all about love and if you want to see what I mean just keep watching. So let's go. And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much For today's first DIY I am just going to recycle this Easter sign that Dollar Tree put out last year. I went ahead and removed as much as I could from this to use it in my Easter DIYs, but I'm just going to end up flipping this over because I just wanted to give it a very sloppy um, weathered paint job with the plaster chalk paint. Less sanding, less tan cramping. It's I'll take it. Then I went ahead and took this color pencil. It is a dark brown. It does look maroon on camera. But I promise I'm not that colorblind. That's definitely brown. So I went ahead and drew my faux shiplap lines. I tried to go in line with the sign, but we all know Dollar Tree kind of goes by their own scale. But I think it lined up decently and looks pretty good in the end. Um, so yeah, anyways, <laughs> well then I did end up sanding it a little bit more. Um, I went around the edges to kind of clean up any paint that might have like, you know, dry there in like a clump and then I did end up going over the face of this sign or the front of it I guess you could say to go ahead and soften down that pencil just a little bit and to bring some of that wood look through like the face of it. I got these cute little house frames at doll or my family dollar last spring and they're only a dollar for two so like 50 cents a piece this is a very inexpensive DIY um, and I just went ahead and removed one of them and then took that little cardboard insert cut it out and then use school glue like a stick glue to go ahead and put the scrap of paper onto that little cardboard insert you could totally put a picture on this if you you know in this if you wanted to but I chose to just do kind of like a house brick look Obviously, I didn't want to show you that because I feel that you know how to use scissors and glue. And apparently, I decided not to show you how to paint um, <laughs> with that ballet slipper chalk paint on the front of that house. And then I did distress it with some Waverly wax. Then I went ahead and printed out Love Lives Here. So the first love um, <laughs> on my Cricut. And yes, I do save my transfer tape and I use it over and over until it doesn't work anymore because I am frugal and that is how I roll. And Cricut <clears throat> sponsorship still hasn't sponsored me yet. So, you know, here we are. Anyways, so then I did just go over the vinyl with some of the plaster chalk paint to lighten it up a little bit. And then all I did was glue that little house down in the corner. I did use hot glue for that. Then I used some Dollar Tree jute twine and just made a little hanger out of this. Very similar to the one we already did, you know, that I removed but I wanted those little knots in the front and I always like to remove the hangers because I don't want to get paint on them. And I usually end up putting some other kind of hanger on it. But this simple DIY is just about done. I almost I got ahead of myself. All I did was attach a little shoestring jute twine bow there at like the peak of the house roof. I didn't want to add any words or too, too much on the actual house because, um, you know, I did not want to take away from the vinyl. I did attach that little wood heart there that apparently I decided to cut that out too. <laughs> I don't know, my, I don't know, my brain sometimes. Anyways, you guys, I think this is super simple and really cute. You could live, leave this out all year as well or use it for just Valentine's Day. If you are new here today, a welcome. My name is Mackenzie, aka Kenzie, and I am so excited that you found my channel and clicked on my video today. I hope you are loving everything you see so far. Crafting and DIYing is my passion, so if that is what you are into, you're in the right place. So don't forget to subscribe and turn your bell notification on. For DIY number two, I am going to use this sign that I actually got from the same family dollar. Um, that I did in the first project. It was originally six dollars, but it was actually on sale for a dollar So I think I got like four or six of these and again, I bought these last spring I've DIYed with them a little bit before um, They are such a steal for a dollar This frame is so nice the backing is so nice and it even comes with a sawtooth hanger if you just remember to um, Make your project in the same way that the sawtooth hanger hangs you'll be golden So I covered this entire thing with elephant gray chalk paint 
Um, I always start off with the middle and then I try to like decide what color do I want to paint the frame and I decided that doing it all gray and just distressing it a little bit with some white chalk paint would have been prettier maybe than gray with a white frame and just that's just how my mind worked. Plus I'm going to use white vinyl on this so I thought that it would make it pop a whole lot better if it was just on like a gray backing. So as you can see, I did go pretty heavily over the center with my white chalk paint and then I did change my mind and come back in with my elephant gray and kind of like lighten that up just a little bit. I did not distress this or sand it or anything. I thought that it would just be really pretty just gray and white. So as you can see, what I told you guys about with the sawtooth hanger, it's hanging horizontal. But I, like I said, I did add white vinyl to this that you'll see here in just a second. So when I did that, I put it on vertical. And yeah, the sawtooth hanger is on the side. But that's an easy fix. But what I was trying to say is it already comes equipped for like everything. You don't even have to make a hanger for it. So anyways, then I just applied this white vinyl that says I love us. And I just did it in a little bit different font. The I and the love are the same. And the us is obviously different. Then I went over that white with just a little bit of the elephant gray to again distress that vinyl just a smidge. And this is how this turned out. It was so simple. I didn't add anything to it. No bows, no anything. And again, this is something you could totally leave out all year round or just for Valentine's Day. But I think I just love the simplicity of this and I just think it's so pretty. But y'all let me know what you think. For my third and final DIY today, I'm going to start off with these letters that I got from the Dollar Tree. You all know how it goes when you buy letters from the Dollar Tree. You never get enough of the same letter in the pack. And I wanted them to be big letters like this. So instead of being out of an O or, you know, I just improvised and cut a Q. I have so many Qs because I buy so many packs and like never use a Q. So I was like, oh, this is a good idea. So anyways, I just cut that little... Um, q-tip <laughs> whatever off and then just sanded down where it left a little bit of a bump and then i mixed a little bit of ballet slipper chalk paint with a little bit of white chalk paint and then i went ahead and just painted i uh, only gave one coat to the word love again this is our third love so that is why this video is all about the love you guys get it i use the word love for every diy you get it i don't have to tell you <laughs> Okay. This moment can always stay here forever. 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 I watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. With you, everything is complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on just to wake you up. So apparently I really wanted to show you guys how I painted this love word. But then I just took four of these little cubes, like these little square blocks, cube blocks, whatever you want to call them. I guess they're cubes because they're three-dimensional. They're not squares. Well, you know what I mean. Anyways, I got these from the Dollar Tree. Um, again, like pretty much everything I used in these projects today were only a dollar and I gave them all like a really sloppy coat of the white chalk paint. I went ahead and painted all four sides and then like used my air, my air gun. Wow. My heat gun in the middle or, you know, while I was painting to keep it dry, you know, anyways, they're dry. They're white. We're good. So then I just took the little love word and I glued, obviously you see what I'm doing. I don't have to tell you. But I like to tell you, I, I glued the word love to the blocks. And I thought about attaching this horizontal a few times. And then I thought about not attaching it at all. But I really wanted to make kind of like a tall piece. Because I have a lot of shelves that sometimes I feel like stuff gets lost if it's all like horizontal or like not too tall. So I went ahead and just glued these. I started with the E and made worked my way up. But it really doesn't matter. But I just glued them all like in a different direction that way it just looked like they were kind of sitting on top of each other I actually tricked my daughter when she went to pick it up you could tell she thought she needed to pick them all up separately she didn't realize they were attached so it was kind of funny when she picked them up she was like oh like it was it surprised her so anyways again I didn't add any bows any frill to this I went over 
it really heavily um, just mostly concentrating on the edges and on the edges of the letters with some antique wax so it was just like in my brush kind of dry brushed over it really intensely and gave it a nice weathered distressed look and I love the way it turned out very simple again just kind of perfect for like my theme this year I kept everything pretty simple so anyways you guys that wraps up this Valentine's Day season on my channel I really hope you guys enjoyed all the Valentine's Day DIYs that I brought to you and don't forget to let me know which one was your favorite what kind of videos you want to see next down in the, the comments like this video really helps my channel out subscribe if you're not and I'll see you guys real soon bye Ever.